Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. So traders, we're gonna look at silver and gold in this video. We have been starting to see like a little bit of a sell-off in, in silver, or oh, that's actually, yeah, silver there. And, uh, and also gold as well too, a little bit of sell-off. So we're gonna be talking a little bit more about that, what that means uh, in today's session. Plus we'll be looking at some of the other gold and silver stocks as well too. This is more for the short term. Plus also we'll have a look at the long-term basis as well too. Guys, make sure you click on that very first link in the description. I'll go to johnslivetrain.com where I'm running a free web class today. We're gonna to learn my number one trading system for the last 15 years that works on any market and any time frame and achieves up to a 90% success rate, especially when you get like the every single rule in place. Plus you're gonna see dozens of real examples on the Forex market, the futures market, stock market, and even options, and how I use technology to scan thousands of stocks to find these trades with less than an hour per day, how I do that. So go, so go to johnslivetraining.com. Now guys, looking at silver and gold right now, I can see that there is really, it's really, really interesting to see what's going on right now, okay? So firstly, we're still in, let me just delete this off the screen here. We, we are breaking below this level now um, and, and we're starting to break down a little bit more. So right now we're we're very we're in a bit of a, a bit of a sideways range very very it's very very unpredictable right now okay but we have a low we have a high low and we're getting this sort of sideways movement through here breaking below this trend line which may or may not mean anything but in this period of sideways movement you got to get these gyrations aren't you because oh because what happens when you get these time and when you get these uh, when you get these time phases or when you get these, when you get the periods when it's sideways, it's very volatile and very, very unpredictable. So uh, as you can see, right, we're still basing out through. If I go to that weekly chart once again, it's, it still looks like we're going through this sideways range. I don't believe we're ready to see a big massive sell-off. Well, that can happen, but I just don't believe that that's, that's likely to happen. I think even if we do get a little bit of a sell-off, we're probably likely to hold and then see another another new run in silver and gold through there. Um, so let me delete off the screen through there. So as we can see, guys, what's happening right now, we're still going through this gyrations through here. We are still slowly trending up, but really not much going on through here. It's just, it's just so even if we're getting a sell-off through here, uh, we probably get a little bit more follow through. If I go to the actual, the SLV price, you can see a little bit of volume. So we may get a little, a little bit more follow through here, but any downward movement through here is probably likely to be short lived. And that's probably likely to be a bit of a sucker rally for the shorts. And then we're probably likely to pick back up again. Now that's for silver and gold. That has nothing to do with the mining ETFs and that has nothing to do with the mining stocks. Okay. So that's what I'm looking at through there. Even same for gold as well too, right? Gold actually had a, just a little bit of a breakdown now out of this trend line through here, really sort of, it popped up and now we're actually breaking back down. So it's really interesting that we had some sort of a, some sort of a false breakout here and now we're breaking down. So I wouldn't be too surprised if we did see a little bit more downward movement, but it's probably likely to be short lived uh, before the buyers come back in. Again, that's just in there. If um, you know, but then again, guys, you must accept if you're trading, if you're trading any market, if you're trading any mining stocks right now, that they, that that can just keep going down and down and down and down, because we never know what's going to happen, right? That's why you need to have risk management in place. And looking at the actual GOD here as well, you can see how we're starting to get a bit more volume through here. So a little bit more volume, but again, guys, I just don't see the the market's still in this very, very, very choppy sideways range. Not really much going on through there. If I look at say some of the some of the um, so I go to SIL, we can see how the SIL is really just again in no man's land. But looking at that weekly chart, we're sort of just sort of chopping chopping around through here. Really no strength at all. So we're not breaking up. We're not breaking down. We're still in this very, very, very sideways range. Well, I'd like to start to see this thing start to break out and start the trend again. And that's when we're going to start to see some really, really nice trades. The best trades are is when the market breaks out and then you just start to jump on those trends. What I mean by that is look at the moving average, right? When the moving average is trending up, okay, through here, the best chances are to, to get in there, okay? The best chance, that's the, the best time. When the moving average is trending down or flat, basically, then it's very, very, very unpredictable. There's really no trend there in place.
So the best trades for me, when I'm trading the market that is, is when I've got a very strong moving average and then I get my pattern in place, the entry bar, all that sort of stuff as well too. Plus I look at the high time frame to make sure support and resistance are in line as well too. And I look at the GDX as well too, guys. So GDX right now, lower high, lower high, pretty much nothing going on through here. But even if we do get a bit of a breakdown through here, it, it may be, we may get, we may get um, a little bit of selling movement down, but there is definitely major, major, major level of support down through to there. So even if we did get a bit, bit of a selling movement down, I, I probably like it to be short lived. Um, it's probably like it to be a bit of a, bit of a sucker rally, I believe, and then we're probably like it to turn around from there. But once again, guys, if you do hold mining stocks, if you do hold mining stocks, then don't be sitting there hoping and praying and saying, oh, well, John said it's going to turn around. So I'm just going to hold and hope and pray that these things are going to turn around because, you know, we could just continue going down from here, can't we, right? Anything can happen. And that's 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 the name of the game when it comes to trading. So that's what I'm looking at through there. Even looking at oil, um, if we look at oil right now, oil is pretty much nothing going on through with oil and um, and yeah, we can just see that through there, really just sideways for, for quite some time through here. So really, really, really interesting stuff what's happening right now, guys. And I do say that just keep protecting yourself, okay? Um, I see a lot of people out there that are just, that, um, that are very, very, very quick. There's so much stocks out there, right? So many stocks out there that we can trade. Just if you are trading, you are an after trader, make sure you've got that risk down small, okay? Um, and make sure that that even if you do have some losses, that you do whatever you can to protect yourself. Make sense? So that's what I'm seeing through there, guys. Uh, at the, in the in the nutshell of what I'm seeing through, that we may we may see a little bit more follow through on the downside on silver, gold, S I L S A T GDX, but it's probably likely to be short lived before the buyers come back in again. If we do get a bit of a drop, it's probably likely to be a bit of, bit of a sucker rally. It might last for a day, it might last for a couple of days, it might last up to a week on, 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 the, on the downside. It may not happen at all, but if it does happen, then I'm, we're likely to see a movement on the downside. So guys, if you would like to learn my the way that I trade the markets, okay, because I viewed the markets, but then also trade the markets, so go to johnslivetrading.com or click on that link in the description and go join my web class today. I'm gonna walk you through all the steps to, to what I call the perfect, perfect setup to give you the best chance of doing really well. And I promise you, if you just watch the training and you start to apply that, your trading is gonna to start, to, start to improve tenfold. Before you go, I am giving away a free trial to the Master Trader Lab with all the different trading courses you can see on the screen right now. So go to mastertraderlab.com right now. I'm running a special over the next few days. So go to mastertraderlab.com to get a free trial to all the different trading courses you can see on the screen right now. So go to mastertraderlab.com.